chosen ones. You're a light being being tested by many dark forces. You're protected. So don't live in fear. Shout out to the WTC game. We really are the chosen ones. Do you know how much darkness it is out here in this world? Let's just think about it. Do you know that everywhere you go is more dark spirits around you than any other spirits? It's very rare you're going to come across people with genuine spirits that's chosen, right? Anointed and appointed. Very, very rare. That's why the Bible says many are called, but a very few are chosen. And when we talk about chosen, we talk about your spirit. Everywhere you go, darkness is around. Think about it. And when I mean darkness, we talk about people with demonic spirits. You are light being out here in these streets. Why do you think we're going through spiritual warfare, chosen ones? Why do you think we're battling with people's spirit and not their flesh and blood? Understand what I'm saying? This is not a physical battle. You guys got to get that out your mind. This is not a physical battle. This is not the MMA. Understand what I'm saying? This is not the WWE. This ain't wrestling. This is a spiritual battle. And light beings, you are being tested by many dark forces is because, let me tell you something. Not only they are uh, attracted to your light, but let me tell you something. They just trying to figure, how are you this genuine? How are you this real? How are you this authentic? So let me test him. Let me pro provoke his spirit. Understand what I'm saying? Let me throw shade on him. Let me throw jealousy on him. Let me test him today. You'd be so surprised who the trick of the enemy picks. Oh, okay. Let's go get this chosen one today. This is why other people are attacking you spiritually. I'm telling y'all, man, this is spiritual warfare. Every day. You're going to be coming across different spirits every single day. And many of these things are dark forces. But we bind every demonic spirit in the name of Jesus. But you are protected under the blood of the Lamb. You are protected by his guardian angels. You are protected, man. Why are we living in fear? Only reason why I'm saying that because I'm getting a lot of emails. I'm getting a lot of emails. People telling me, I, I, I know I'm chosen, but I don't really like people. You got to like people. <laughs> I can't be around certain spirits But I'm chosen you, you really ain't chosen Because when you're chosen Guess what You can be around any spirit And it won't faze you Don't be afraid to put in the comments below And say I can be around any demonic spirit And it's not going to faze me You got to rebuke spirits When you're around spirits This is why prayer Changes everything This is why you should always pray Everywhere you go Because you don't know What spirit you're going to come across today That's real talk we're in a spiritual realm. That guy started thinking we're in a spiritual realm. All these mass murderings and all these different killings and all these different robberies and all this. These ain't nothing but demonic spirits, dark forces. No matter how chosen you are. Amen. No matter how anointed you are. No matter how gifted you are, listen to me. No matter how beautiful you are on the outside, beautiful you are on the inside, it don't matter. You're going to be tested. People are going to push your buttons. Oh, and, and, and let me tell you something. Don't let them go through something. Demonic spirits really going to be coming out. This is why you remain humble when you're around certain people. This is why you be uh, you be humble when you're around family, friends. I call them associates. Understand what I'm saying? This is why you be under the spirit. You be humble as a dove, wise as a serpent. Because when it's all said and done, this is a spiritual battle. This is why you be humble when you go to work. Around these demonic co-workers. Everybody fighting for a raise. Spiritually. 
Understand what I'm saying? This is why you ain't never got a raise. Because you know why? They afraid you're going to be doing better than them, which is true. But when it's all said and done, God got plans in store for you. Don't worry about it. Stop living in fear. You don't need to live in fear. You got to be ready to fight back. And when I mean fight back, I mean fight back spiritually. Don't be afraid to rebuke the devil. Don't be afraid to call it out as you see it and send him back to the pits of field to where he belongs. Don't be afraid to cast out demonic spirits and people. God gave you the power. Can't be humble all the time. You got to open up your mouth and rebuke these spirits. And they would not come nigh to you. Resist the devil and he will flee. This is why you're wrestling with family. You're wrestling with your mom, your dad. It's why you're wrestling with other people in the family. This is a spiritual thing. But you are covered under the blood of the lamb. I need everybody to share this video. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody is going through spiritual warfare right now as I'm talking. And don't forget if you need a friend, you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation and if you need inspiration, you already know. You got the greatest motivation of speaking the whole wide world, you boy. I got to get up out of here. But before I go, we the chosen ones. I'll see you in the next video. Be blessed.